Hello class, today I'm going to show you how we can design and, and investigate airflow between different building blocks and uh, we are going to have 2D case. Let's open our workbench. Why I'm selecting 2D case? Because 2D would be really, really expensive for us and it needs a lot of mesh and we have mesh um, the number of mesh limit which is going to limit our case so even for 2d case it's very difficult and it takes long time to simulate so to help our civil engineers let's do once and uh, investigate the turbulent flow between different blocks. Okay, workbench is open. Let's open our fluent and I'm going to open geometry or space clay. Okay, let's start drawing our geometry because the geometry is about buildings, so let's select larger unit and I'm going to select meters and let's select this plan as a drawing plan, rectangle as a Floyd space domain. So my Floyd domain, let's select this one, uh, 400 meter, the other one, 1000 meter, enter, okay, this is my Floyd domain, I want to have uh, inlet from this side, some buildings blocks here, and the flow pattern after those buildings around uh, right side we can see okay so because the accuracy of mesh close to building must be higher than the rest of the fluid domain which we are not looking for that much accuracy so i'm going to create uh, another block here a, a rectangle here as a uh, separate section which I can apply different mesh uh, resolution. So let's start with left edge as a uh, starting point. So I want to have 100 meters away from the edge and 100 meters to the right, enter, oh, 100 meter, enter, so here let's draw this big, this is going to be 200 and 400. even 500 let's go 500 done okay now I'm going to draw the buildings block here let's have uh, 100 meters and 50 meters from there and 40 meter diameter first building the second one I would like to have oh, let's draw some random 
I would like to have this block of building here for the lower side the building is going to be L shape and a cool triangle shape building here so this is our building block and you understand why the separated area is a bit larger than building block because Floyd is going to, uh, the wind is going to blow from the left side. So we are going to have some pattern after these blocks. So I want to have more resolution of mesh here. Okay, so let's select the whole the curves and click fill. Okay, so I have this part this part and these blocks let's get rid of the blocks the yeah the surface inside that block so split body done for the the other three I'm going to use pull uh, I need to click cut done I forget cut and finally this one cut it done so this is my geometry let's go back to mesh okay mesh is ready here Meshing this geometry is really really important because we are going to have turbulent flow and um, Turbulent models are really sensitive to me for mesh uh, quality I'm going to do my best to increase mesh quality as much as possible and keep inside our um, mesh number limit if you finish your meshing and start solving uh, and you saw some uh, message answers asking you for example telling you the wall thickness the mesh close to wall is not enough you need to go and come back and improve your mesh or change your strategy to have a finer mesh to the area close to the boundaries So let's open it vertical to Y. Let me check the thickness. Thickness is zero, so it's perfect 2D initial and default mesh. Let's see how it is going to be. Yeah, as we guess, it is going to be awful. Uh, largest mesh is 53 meter which is not acceptable first because this is 2d i'm going to select method and ask ansys to select triangular mesh which is better for 2d and easier to work with so then let's go sizing for this for this surface which I already cut it from the main from the total domain and I'm going to select one meter let's see so the largest 
mesh size is going to be 1 meter. Okay, mesh is ready. Let's check our mesh size. Very good. I still need to take care of the outside. Uh, another sizing, this time outside. Let's go with um, 5 meter. So, 5 times larger than the inside. Okay, the second phase sizing is ready. Let's see. Yes, it's really good. Inside, it was it was one meter for the outside, five meters. But I'm not sure. So later we are going to check it. Uh, I also want to improve the quality of our mesh close to the boundaries here. Let's see what options we have. I can use inflation. Let's go for inflation. Select geometry. Yes, this one. And for boundaries, I'm going to click left click and just pass over all these edges, and it is going to automatically select the size I'm passing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I selected all of those lines and apply. Let's have for now 20 layers. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, but let's see. Okay, inflation is ready. Let's check inflation. As you can see here, for example, for this triangle, we have much finer mesh close to this uh, wall. Mm, I may increase this one to 880 and have more refined mesh close to the boundaries. Otherwise, uh, ANSYS is going to just bug me, asking me, you need to have finer mesh. And it is difficult to delete all the solutions, come back here, refine it, go back. It's better to take care right now. Okay, let's see. Now we have much more uh, layers for inflation. Okay, let's move this here. Now I need to put the names. This is going to be my inlet. Create a name, inlet. This side is going to be my outlet. This one and the top side, they are going to be symmetry. Basically, whatever happens here, it is going to symmetrically copy the other side. So, um, this is one type of boundary condition we can apply. And uh, if I need I don't need, but let's name the whole, all of these walls we have here. Okay, right click, name, walls. So as you can see, we have inlet, outlet, symmetry lines, and walls. Okay, we are done with it. Hopefully our mesh is good enough 
uh, I'm not sure let me check how many mesh we have right now hmm I could improve the outside mesh because um, remember when we say this size the, the largest size mesh here is going to be five meters if we had any flow structure uh, smaller than uh, for example five meters we're not going to capture so uh, for inside it is one meter if turbulence is one meter or flow pattern is bigger than one meter we are going to capture smaller than that we're not going to capture so it is really important to have refined mesh to the area of importance and as you can see because this area is really really important for me so I tried my best to refine this type this mesh and for the outside of this area probably the results we are going to get won't be that much accurate or sometimes wrong but we don't care that much about this side close to the building and a little bit after that to see what's the flow pattern and we can guess based on this flow pattern what type of pattern should be outside of the area of interest okay enough with mesh and hopefully we made a good decision there update okay ready let's open setup I'm looking for double precision parallel processing and use four processor good enough usually for building simulations you need much better computers one of my friends bought a computer with 48 uh, processor he's using for graphic designs and simulations but we are doing principally same thing so if you are a civil engineer looking for this type of simulations you may think about like having like more CPU cores 24 48 something like that okay uh, I'm not sure okay we can select steady or transient result let's go for transient so we have time dependency and we are going to simulate as time passes for example for five seconds ten seconds something like that steady state it doesn't have any time again no gravity and the rest is okay let's select model as you can see here we have as a default model is uh, laminar flow and we have several uh, turbulence models here k epsilon k omega uh, sst Reynolds stress these these are the different uh, turbulent models but I'm looking for uh, large eddy simulations because uh, the, the big difference between these and large eddy, large eddy uh, neglects some smaller um, uh, smaller simulations or smaller patterns we have that is why we use large eddy simulations for the large scale turbulent flows okay but if you check this list we don't have LES or large eddy simulations so you need to add this command here enter let's go back to the model open it now we have large eddy simulation here I'm going to select large eddy and click OK happy with it about material you know the default material is air and 
my, for my simulation, I want air, so no change for that part. For, uh, for the surface we have, it's, it's, it is going to be all fluid, and only fluid is, is selected as air. I'm happy with that. Let's check the boundary. Uh, inlet, I need to specify the velocity later. Outlet is pressure outlet, happy with it. Symmetry automatically answers under sand. This is the symmetry boundary, and I don't need to do anything. For the building walls, it's wall, so we have no slip condition and stationary wall. Let's, let me check. Stationary wall and no slip condition. So we are happy with everything except inlet. I need to specify the velocity. Uh, let's consider 7 meter per second velocity for air. Uh, reference again, let's let ANSYS to start from inlet. Method, let's go for second order. For monitor residuals, I'm looking for higher uh, convergence uh, criteria. So instead of converging uh, 10 power minus 3, let's go for 10 power minus 4. So uh, ANS is going to stop iteration when the difference between the current result and the one after that is less than 10 power 4. So it is going to repeat more iteration to reach this accuracy. Um, 10 power minus 4 is not like a big deal. Usually people use 10 power minus 6, 8 or 10. Uh, calculation activities. Let's create some data for export. And I would like ANSYS to, to export this CFT post compatible ones. And I want, let's select some of the results here. Static pressure, dynamic pressure, absolute pressure, total pressure, relative pressure, good. Also, I want to have velocity, stream function, good. What else we have? Let's have versatility and turbulence. Mm. We need to make sure we are asking ANSYS to export the important results for us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Let's select frequency. You can select 1, 5, 10. I'm selecting maybe 5. Every 5 times step, it's going to generate these results. And let's give a location for the files. It is going to save desktop and this number, the workshop number eight inside this one. So hopefully it is understand. Okay, it didn't. Change the direction. Let me check why. Okay, I tried once more and I could save it here. As you can see, the name of the file is going to be building and every time, five time steps, it is going to save those data for me. Let's click OK for this. Uh, let's initialize, hybrid, initialize. I already told you, initializing just uh, uh, giving one set of data and ANSYS make sure everything is working. Oh, we got a warning sign. This stands for... Okay, again, we have a trouble with the mesh. I need to go back and improve mesh. Okay, let me pause the video and go back to the mesh. And after finding a solution, I'm going to show you what mesh quality I selected. Okay. I'm back. I changed some of the options we had. For example, I changed the method 
two quadrilateral dominant one the triangular one didn't work for face sizing for the smaller domain I decreased it to 0.7 meter and for the larger one 2.5 and if we go back to the uh, to the setup it is transient the model was large eddy simulation LES material we didn't check change let's check the surface is going to be fluid boundary conditions inlet must be 7 meter per second S uh, symmetry for the top and bottom walls the other should be just wall and outlet pressure outlet okay we are happy with that one reference value should start from inlet method we are happy with the our previous uh, adjustment for residual we said let's go for 10 power 4 and then now it's time to initialize hybrid initialization and as you can see no trouble here because of mesh uh, accuracy and quality so let me check yeah we already have automatic file export these are the results we selected for every five time steps and it's going to save to the folder as specified let's run it uh, the time step let's go with this small time step and 1000 times and the maximum iteration is going to be uh, 50 uh, let's start it hopefully it is going to converge and we're not going to have any divergence at the beginning because if it diverts you are going to see this white axis is going to rise Currently it's going down, so very good. And as we can see, it's reaching to 10 power minus 4. We have, we are happy with the uh, x velocity and y velocity for the continuity. We need to wait a little bit more to reach under 10 power minus 4. Okay, so. For now it is going to be a waiting game so again I'm going to pause it wait to have some data as you know we have for every five time step I'm going to save one data uh, for now we haven't saved any so uh, I'm going to pause this uh, video and wait for this uh, simulation to converge reach this 10 power minus 4 start recording after I don't know maybe 10 or 20 recording I'm going to pause it and come back and show you some of the results we got okay I stopped the simulation as you can see inside the result box uh, folder I have enough results about 50 uh, files so let's check that one I can't wait anymore as you can see because I paused it the solution shows the pause uh, icon there so let's open the results okay the first thing I'm looking is going to be counter let's make it vertical yes for all domain location is going to be this symmetry line and I'm looking for velocity with for example 200 Ooh. counter let's see what type of result we have here okay 
maybe I could decrease this one to 50 to have more to be okay these are the velocity uh, counters I could change the color map to for example grayscale okay what about streamline because the streamline also it's very important to see uh, what is the flow direction between those buildings it's very smooth very nice except for this triangle building which we have this uh, higher pressure area at the center is pretty good basically I'm really good designer <laughs> okay okay let's check some of the color maps we have for example zebra one different color maps they can uh, show us more information about what type of uh, flow or velocity we have for example um, let's see how is blue and white one so basically the white side is going to be have higher velocity so higher velocity here here and here and the complete dark blue is around here so if you want to be safe from the wind blowing or anything something like that you should come this side and this is the safe zone or behind this building so the dark black here and here is going to be safe soon and uh, yeah we are going to have higher velocity at the center which is very good uh, so you can have design some uh, plants or those kind of thing because we have uh, airflow here and it's pretty nice let's go back to the streamline and you can see how uh, air movement is going to work here I should design something like a at the center of this uh, complex to have like, some blocking effect to have like high pressure low pressure area but I virtually I didn't do that so yeah uh, this is how it happened okay again if you want to create a Uh, a video you can come here let's this is not right let me make sure our results are loaded so I'm going to go to desktop workshop number eight this one let's add the first one okay it is loading as you can see we need a bit time to load all the data we have and I saved almost uh, 50 okay so let's create some 
data for this case. Okay, now I'm going to create a counter for symmetry one plan velocity, where is velocity? With for example 11 points let's apply and I'm going to make sure this is from our data so this is the new data I imported this one is for my previous simulation and so I'm not going to use that one this is for new data which I just imported and let's see for example for initial time step the first one which is fifth time step the results I double click so they're going to apply to this uh, counter I think it is applied let's so let's go for example to the last one So it changed. So we have we did we didn't simulate that much. So the the flow change between these buildings are not that much. Maybe it's less than a second. So but it's just for showcase, and uh, we we just want to know how to do this. Okay, let me apply and create a streamline and uh, create a video for that streamline okay let's get rid of this one start streamline the second one St should start from inlet 25 would be enough and it's going to be about velocity and let me turn off this one and yeah so I'm going to the first one clicking this to create a video time step animation I want okay let's save it to my folder the folder I already saved everything so ANSYS workshop number 8 inside yeah here save it there um, MPEG would be good one more options let's go for HD yeah now it's time to run it's just a few time step it won't be that much but good enough for our simulation case okay video is created let's go to the folder and check it I saved it here building and this is going to be a very short video as you can see because it's really really short we just have a, f a few seconds of flow behavior here as you, you can see this fluctuation and the gradually velocity increases at these two tips reaches to 7.6 uh, meter per second over here and still we have a safe low velocity here and here okay next time you are doing this simulation try your best uh, 
to create a new uh, color map for me. I don't like this black and white. Black and blue would be much more useful and you can see all the details for that color. Maybe black and white is not very good. So try that one. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time.